we doing guys? This is Alex from Beast Cars and we have a 2006 uh, X5 4.8 IS. It's the first generation X5. Today we're going to be changing the transmission fluid. Alright guys, so this is going to be a drain plug and this is a fill plug. So the drain is a 5, 5 hex and the fill is a 17 hex. Always want to make sure you take off the fill one first, this way. If it doesn't come off, you at least can drive the car. I'm gonna use a little penetrating spray, guys. Oh, damn, it's strong. All right, we got the fill plug out and I have a little bit of fluid coming out. So you can see, it's pretty dark. Alright guys, ready for some more fluid. Yeah, it's pretty dark the fluid. Doesn't smell, doesn't smell burnt, but it's still pretty dark. Good time to change it. You can see guys on the inside there's a plastic cover. When we put in the tube to pump the new transmission fluid in, we have to go in and sideways. This way we can actually get the fluid inside the transmission. This way whenever I'm moving stuff around, it's not slipping outside of my transmission. Just enough. So it stays pretty sturdy and pretty put. Beautiful. So I'm pretty adamant about using original Zeta fluid in these uh, six-speed transmissions. They're very finicky. It's very important to hit the fluid and have a correct fluid in the transmission. Guys, the method I'm using is going to change only about 50 to 60% of the fluid in the transmission. I like to do that about every 30,000 miles and the filter we're going to be changing every 60,000. Alright guys, notice we started to drip the fluid back out. This means we have to lower the vehicle, start it, start circling through the gears, get all the fluid pumping through the transmission and then we're gonna probably add another two to three quarts depending on where we're at. All right guys, tools needed for the job. As always, we need a rag to clean up all the messes. We need a fluid transfer pump. This one is real nice because it can bolt on on top of your canister where the fluid comes from and then it's a pretty thin Thin tube, you can stick it in all these different places, bend it a little bit, and it's a pretty efficient pump. We need a 17, that's for the fill plug. We need a 5, that's gonna be for the drain plug. And obviously, we need a 3.8 ratchet. 